day is here. Kids all across our area are anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa tonight. And did you know he gets a little help from the military on his trip? NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, tracks Santa on his journey each and every year. Joining us live now is Lieutenant General Blaze Frawley. He's a member of the Royal Canadian Air Force, and he's joining us now from Peterson Space Force Base in Colorado. Lieutenant General, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Howard, and good morning, Philadelphia. Absolutely. So the big question for the kids watching today is, where is Santa right now? So Santa right now uh, is probably about 30, 40 minutes from having taken off from the North Pole. He's heading southbound along the International Date Line, which is essentially a line between uh, Alaska and Russia. And then he'll start his journey uh, westward around the globe. So we know, obviously, the military is all about security. So usually NORAD is focused on protecting airspace over the United States and Canada. How did NORAD get into involved in tracking Santa and all those gifts he's carrying? Yeah, it's a great story. So it, that actually happened by accident. Back in 1955, a phone number was misprinted in an advertisement. And a young girl called up uh, what at the time was con uh, Continental Air Defense. And the colonel on, on duty at the time answered the phone, realized what had happened, and pretended he was Santa. And we've been tracking Santa ever since. Continental Air Defense became NORAD in 1958, and so NORAD's taken on the role, and again, 68 years of tracking Santa. There we go. And it's not just the military, correct? You also have some volunteers who are helping you, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have about 13 to 1,400 volunteers. Uh, a lot of them are military, but a lot of civilian volunteers, a lot of local folks, people come in from other bases. And it's a pretty busy day here at the NORAD Tracking Center on Peterson Space Force Base. And also, you know, uh, you know the, there is a way that families, not just you guys, families, they can also help, uh, well, keep track of, of Santa's route, correct? Absolutely. Families can come on in. In fact, my own family will be coming in later this afternoon, and my uh, granddaughter, who has been tracking Santa for years, will be answering phone calls today. There we go. Lieutenant General Blaze Ferrali with NORAD. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us. I know you guys are very busy over there in Colorado. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you from everybody at NORAD. Thank you. All right, take care. And we got some, uh, some he's, when he gets to Philadelphia, He's got some yeah, rain coming through, no, right? No, no, that's not going to be bad. He doesn't get to Philadelphia till late tonight, but kids, you got to be in bed early because yes. otherwise he has to circle. He stays in a holding pattern, and that holds everything up. Right. And other cities are wondering where Santa is, so let's not be the problem, okay? Right.